All right, and here we go. We're playing Rusty Cliff on the Sandbox, part of the May Festival event. Let's check this out. Okay, there's a sand god here to talk to. Start with him. Rusty Cliff Traveler. Oh, this is Rusty Cliff Traveler. Uh, even here, there are places of interest you, you could do well to investigate. There are five points of each. Okay. So we have uh, different points of interest that we need to go check out. Any behind me? No, I don't I don't see him. Okay. Well, here's one right here. The guide statue, which is that guy, the sand... The, he used to be referred to as like the sand god uh, by a bunch of the the originals. A bunch of people who uh, got into this much earlier on than I did. Uh, and I fell in the water. I have to find my way to an area where I can get out. Here we go. So maybe I'll just go up this way. Right there is. Oh, there's one over there which I could have gotten to. One below me. I can tell. One over there. All right, so let's try that one up over there. This isn't quite the mo Oh, yeah, I have to get the box so I won't get it. Hey, it's a Care Bear. What's up? Do your best, Bear. What's going on, do your best, Bear? And then we got uh, Best Friend Bear. Well, you just missed Good Luck Bear. Who's excited about that waterfall? I want her off. I'm sure he can can't be far. I have a feeling that one of these uh, things here is going to be looking for him. Actually, I have played this before. And yeah, so that's going to be something that we're going to have to do. So let me go get these. This really isn't the most uh, economical order to try to get through these, especially when you fall like that. It's not, not the most efficient way to get to all these points of interest. I, you know, while I did play this once before, uh, it's been a while. There's a lot I forgot about with it. So, um, all right, let's find that. There are a couple of people I have to talk to up there. I have to figure out how to get up there. I think I have to go back this way. Well, hey, <laughs> the fish went at me. That's funny. That's interesting uh, point of programming. Normally, they just kind of ignore you. But I know that that's possible for them to kind of, kind of sort of come after you. Just kind of work my way up. So there's, oh, there's like a parkour looking thing there. Oh, there's so, so much I forgot about. I do remember looking for a uh, good luck bear. Yeah, let's go up there. We're going to go all the way up. Can I go over? Yeah, I think I have to go here. Work my way this way. Oh, that might be the one for section for good luck bear. It's tender heart bear. Hey, it's me. <laughs> uh, hey there, friend. We have a lovely day here at Russell Cliff. But now we've got a teensy problem. We're almost ready for the race up top. But our friend has gone missing. Good luck bear seems to have wandered off somewhere. 
All right. So I think I do remember where Good Luck Bear is. So if I remember right, um, Good Luck Bear is I thought that light was off this one. So basically, there's like a little cave area. It might be this one here. Here we go. Here he is. Good luck, Bear. Hello, my friend. I see you found your way and discovered me. Your good luck, Bear. Am I not your favorite Care Bear? <laughs> it's so hard to pick. That's okay. I cared. You cared enough to find me, and that's what matters. If you believe in yourself, every day you can be a Care Bear. It can be a Care Bear day. Motivational speech from a Care Bear. The boost. I didn't know I needed. Thanks. You are so welcome. Here's a crazy hug to go with it. <laughs> and if you ever want to make a care make a care lot of your own, you can do so by using assets in the market. I'll be sure to stop by to do. Alright, cool. Well, I found him. So yeah, it's just this little like ledge cave area off of there. So now, um, Grab this voxel over here. Voxel shard. Oh no, voxel light. And work our way up again. So there's a race to the top type thing going on too. From what it sounds like. I don't remember all the details for all these. I just uh, the only reason why I remember the good luck bear one as well as I do is because that was the most like annoying thing for me to figure out it took me forever to figure out where he is because i kept on giving hints and clues to a waterfall but that cave while it's near a waterfall is not actually like uh like at the waterfall so i thought i had to jump down like a waterfall all right let's go up let's go uh check out this other point of interest up here That's the race up top. That's some parkour stuff we're gonna be doing. Parkour. What's up? Hey. All right, so I have to go up this way. Here we go. Oh, and this here. Okay. I'm slowly remembering. Oh yeah, so that's broken. So we have to go all around like the hard way. So this jump here seems harder than it is. Uh, you can jump on this guy and then jump there. You can make it the other way. I've made it a few times in the past, but it can be annoying if you don't quite jump right. Just make sure there's anything there in this, okay. And this here, the ladder's of course broken from there. So this one you have to use these little robot guys. So what I found to be the best way to do it is kind of angle your camera like this, just so you don't overshoot or undershoot when you're jumping through these guys. Yeah, you know, little, little tips and tricks. Oh, another, another voxel there. And, uh, Hmm. Oh, I see a rubber duck up there. Let's look in here quick. The flying bark. I don't know if that's actually how you're supposed to pronounce it. It just makes me think of the root beer. Bark says bite. Let's see, Pilot Jack Falcon. Hey, you. I see the obstacle course there. I'm willing to bet you can make it to the finish line. Prove me that I'm right. This challenge accepted. Let's do it. Some parkour. I 
got nervous I wasn't going to make <laughs> to that one. I'm always nervous I'm going to jump a little too early or too late. Or my jump's not going to work when it needs to. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, man, I almost uh, walked right off that ledge there. And boom. <laughs> Made it. Made it. All right. Top of somewhere. All right. Is that is that everything for this rusty cliff? That might be everything. Oh, I will have to get the rest of the voxelite. So let's do that. Let's finish off getting the rest of the voxelite. There's one right here. And then let's go in here. There's one down here. Yeah, there are these little things I can jump on here. So let's uh, get this here. All right, just need uh, like three more. Three more voxels. anymore. I don't know if that one, that blue thing there, I don't think that's one. So, oh, well, I guess I'm done here anyway, right? So, don't see any directly here. Let's go back this way. See what we can find down here. Now that I'm, you know, no longer... Okay, yeah, that's just a blue design on there. Okay. More voxel, please. More voxel. Hey, Mr. Robot. Oh, voxel. Voxel. All right. Need two more. What's this? Desert Raptor. Sounds dangerous. Hey, you want to be friends? All right. Eternal Tears. So we have to start working my way up because I don't see any more over here. these tree guys the tree spirit Olmus makes me think of uh was Albus Albus Dumbledore here's another voxel all right just need one more guys just need one more oh I see one over there it's uh Go for it. Let's go for it. Because that will finish off this adventure. Rusty Cliff. There we go. I believe that's everything in Rusty Cliff. Let me double check to make sure I didn't forget anything for Rusty Cliff. Because uh, I like it when they tell you when you hit the end. Like when you've actually definitely completed everything. It's nice when you've completed like a little thing like that but sometimes like you want to just check out different things the different nfts so i get why they keep things open too and uh, while i'm waiting for that to reload here let's uh let's explore a little more you guys can't see my other screen so yeah, but does this actually take us anywhere it does Oh, it takes us here, so we keep going up. I like they have these different areas here that feel like that you can parkour up. And like jump on that, then jump on this. Here, there we go. And maybe this. Maybe there. See how, what I'm talking about? How they're like, there are these different areas you might be able to use to jump up on, on the different things. Like, like there could be a secret <laughs> that, you know, you don't know about. Like, I really want to get up there, though. 
if I use this? Then this. There we go. Now I'm up over here. But I haven't, I haven't come across anything that made me feel like that there was actually anything here. I see that ladder there, and like, that's the reason why, I when I first played this. I thought that. Do I have to jump on this? Does that make me a little higher? No. Oh, wait. I'm kind of sort of higher up. Yeah, yeah, there's... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Wait, this might be a little higher than that. Oh, there we go. And the letter takes me here. To these guys. They're uh, the stone golems. All right, let me see if that that loader here and it did so the rusty cliff which I think only had four oh no I went also like that I think I only had four. yep everything's completed with rusty cliff so that's everything on the rusty cliff uh, uh, land here or event here on the uh, on the sandbox May festival so I think I'm going to cut on the, uh, the stream here. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next time.